The reason that you can't get the line out of that fade is because you don't have the clipper position on the head right. You have to put the clipper on the head and come off the scalp. When you're lining behind the ear, you need to pull this ear down so you don't nick the client and use the corner of the blade. You don't need to use this full blade. Hey guys, it's Thomas from the Barber Style Directory and thanks for tuning into this video. A lot of new or beginner barbers, they struggle with how to properly hold and just maneuver the clipper around the client's head. So in this video, I'm going to cover that for clippers and trimmers. So let's start with the basics. So this is the clipper and it has a lever that's adjustable. So the terminology that you will often hear me use is lever open. When the lever is fully back, it's in the open position. This means that it cuts off the least amount of hair. And when it's closed, meaning the blade is as close to this steel blade as possible, this cuts off more hair. So open, closed. Less hair, more hair. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, we're going to get into how to properly hold the clipper. As you can see on most clippers, they will have some type of groove for your fingers to go on, but you have to do whatever is comfortable for you. But the most neutral grip, in my opinion, put your index finger right here, your middle finger under this second groove, and your ring finger goes up under this third groove. And then I have my thumb on the top of the clipper. That way I have ultimate control. Now when it comes to any type of tapering or blending, especially on the side of the head, you need to have that control so that way you can be efficient with your strokes on the clipper. What you don't want to do is go up and down using your arm. Use your wrist. Doing this will lead to shoulder injury and you will fatigue a lot faster. But if you have the clipper in your hand using your wrist, this makes it a lot easier. So with beginner barbers, typically one or two errors occur. Either the clipper's at the wrong angle, meaning you're going too straight, and that could cause irritation, or even worse, you could cut the client, or you're being too timid. You're not actually putting the clipper on the scalp. You have to take the clipper, put it on the scalp, and flick out. Put it on the scalp and flick out. Now when it comes to cutting down the top, Make sure that you have a comfortable grip. I find the most comfortable grip is using two fingers on one side and then having my thumb on the top. That way I have a firm grip. And as you can see, I have this finger with control under the blade as well. So two fingers here, my thumb here, and then I have these two fingers supporting the bottom. So if I need to cut anything off top, I have full control over this clipper. Even if I'm doing an Afro freehand technique, I have full control. Now we're going to move on how to properly hold your trimmers. The proper way to line someone up around the ear, start at the base of the neckline. Hold this ear down with your index finger. Start at the bottom. Notice how I have full control on the clipper. I have two fingers up under the bottom, and then this finger is for control. So I'm using the entire blade. Remember, pulling this ear down with your finger. Now, once you get to this point, you need to use the corner of the blade. If you're going, it's almost like etching with a pencil. There's no point in you trying to use the entire blade to go around the ear. The blade is straight, so you only need the corner to make a point. Full blade, then transition to using just the corner of the blade. And you etch it like a pencil. Then while the ear is still down, you can come from this other side and connect it this way as well. Corner of the blade, corner of the blade, corner of the blade, full blade. And it's the same thing on this side. Start at the bottom using the full blade, pull down the ear, etch around the ear, use the other corner and come back around. When it comes to lining up the front, there are two ways you can do this. If you're more comfortable with your trimmer, you can use this method by holding the trimmer this way. So start at the line and pull away, or you can hold the trimmer this way. Start at the line, pull away. With arches, use the corner of the blade as well. With beards, it's the same thing. Come down, use the corner of the blade to etch. And if you feel more comfortable, you can always turn the trimmer upside down. Now when it comes to lining up the front, and I covered this in the last video, use your index finger as a stabilizer. That way you position the finger on the head, then you place the trimmer where you want it. Then you pull down. So 
Index finger, place the trimmer, pull down. Index finger, place the trimmer, pull down. And lastly, one thing that I'll say with your clippers and trimmers, get used to holding them in a way that works best for you. Yes, these are the standard ways to hold the trimmers, but for example, if you feel more comfortable doing this rather than this, or vice versa, the more you get used to holding clippers and trimmers in your hand, it'll be a lot easier to form that muscle mind connection. So I know this video was quick and to the point, but if you got value, comment below. I feel like I've made countless videos on tapers, fades, and lineups, so I want to keep the channel fresh. So whatever you guys want to see, just comment below, and those are the types of videos that I'll make. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.